In this video, I will try to make a consistent cartoon character by training Alora. I will use this model today. To do this, we need a character sheet first. You can find many character sheets on Pinterest.com. Let's use this for different poses of a character. Let's go to Automatic 1111 and enable the control net. Select Control Type Open Pose. Now drag and drop this character sheet here. I am writing a simple prompt for the character I want to create. I enabled After Detailer to fix the face. You can specify the details of the face here. But I am leaving it blank so that it will use the default prompt. Let's send this into the Image to Image tab. I will upscale this image, so I set the denoising strength to 0.12. I am keeping the after detailer enabled here also. I enabled the control net and selected the control type tile. I am using Ultimate SD Upscale in the script. Upscaling this image by 2x. And using 4x Ultra Sharp as upscaler. Let's save each image for different poses. After saving the images I am going to upscale them again. To do that, I went to Automatic 1111, then the Extras tab. In the Batch from Directory tab, I will upscale them all together. Let's create a new folder here for output images. Now copy the folder paths in the input and output directory. I am using this upscaler. Some images have problems with eye color. I am upscaling again those images to fix them.
If you see any imperfections always fix them. So the images are ready now. For LoRa training, I am using Kohaya SS. To install Kohaya SS GUI you can follow their installation instruction. For more information, please check the description of this video. The first thing we have to do is image captioning. From the Utilities tab, you can use any captioning method. To make LoRa for realistic images blip captioning is best. But as we are going to make a cartoon character, I am using WD14 captioning. I am copying the folder path of the images we upscaled and paste it here. I am using the default settings. You can see text files have been created for each image. It has created all the keywords for each image. I am removing any keyword that is unnecessary. As my images don't have much variety, I am using the same keywords for every image. If your images have a variety of poses then you have to check and edit the keywords for each image carefully. After completing the captioning process, let's create another folder for LoRa training. And inside this folder, create three more folders called Image, Log, and Model. Then inside the Image folder create another folder, and rename it this way. How you rename this folder is very important. To make a LoRa it is ideal to use a minimum of 1500 steps on average. As we have only 9 images, if we divide 1500 by 9 the result is 166. So if we use 150 and multiply it by 9 the result is 1350 which is near to 1500. So I am using the number 150 and then underscore and wrote a LoRa name. So in the training process, it will revise each image 150 times. Then we have to copy all the images and caption files we created before. Then paste all the files in this folder. Now it's time for LoRa training. Let's go to Kohaya SS GUI, then the LoRa tab. Here I will load a configuration file. I will provide the link in the description to download this JSON file. This configuration is suitable for low VRAM like the one I am using 1066GB version. Here you have to select the stable diffusion model you want to train your LoRa with. I am using the same model I used to create the character sheet. Then in the Folders tab, select every folder we created before. Select the Image folder which contains the 150 underscore Comic Girl folder. Don't select the 150 underscore Comic Girl folder, select the Image folder. Then select the Model folder as the Output folder and Log for saving the log files. Give your LoRa a name. In the parameters, I am using train batch size 1. Precision FP16. Optimizer Atom W. If you have images of different resolutions, always check enable buckets.
In the Samples tab, I set it to 400. So it will save one sample image in every 400 steps when training Laura. And in Sample Prompts, I am writing this prompt. So it will follow this prompt to generate the sample image. So after checking everything, it's time to start training Laura. Laura training with 1,500 steps can take almost half an hour depending on your hardware. After completing the training process, it will save a LoRa file in the model folder. Let's copy this LoRa file into our stable diffusion web UI models slash LoRa folder. Now it's time to check our LoRa. I am using the same model. Now let's select our LoRa in the prompt. Now not changing anything else, let's generate an image without writing anything in the prompt. You can see the similarity with our character sheet. Just the hair color looks different. But we will write a prompt now to be more specific. Let's try only adding a negative prompt. To fix the eyes we can enable after detailer. It's looking better now. Now I will try different prompts. So this is the Laura training process to make a consistent cartoon character. I tried to explain all the steps simply. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.